Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at two river features. These features form in the mid to lower part of the river and we're going to be looking at uh, a meander and an oxbow lake. Now to look at a meander we need to first look at the cross section of it and to figure out why it moves um, or it meanders from one side to the other. Now the reason why this occurs is because no river is evenly shaped. It's got an irregular pattern. And as you can see, you've got a section over here that we've named the Falweg, and you've got another section on the right-hand side. Now, the deeper the water, the less contact it has with the sides, the less friction this therefore generates, the higher the velocity, and therefore the more erosion is going to occur. This occurs in the deeper part of the river, and that's the part that we've uh, labelled the Falweg. In the shallow part of the river, however, the opposite applies. You know, there is more friction, therefore there is deposition. And what tends to occur is that therefore the river, uh, the whole river channel, tends to shift to the left. It tends to shift in the direction um, of the deepest part of the river, or it shifts towards the part, or towards the bank, which has been subjected to erosion. Now if we look at this, um, and how this looks like from a top-down view, uh, we can see that we've got a river channel over here, and um, I'm going to label in the fallwork that moves side to side. Now on the outer part of the Falwick, the parts that I'm uh, putting a red asterisk on, these are the parts that exhibit erosion. And with the green asterisk, these are parts that have deposition. So eventually, as you can see in diagram number two, what happens is that the river channel moves, it meanders. And it always moves to the part that it's eroding. Therefore, it's going to move left for the erosional part um, at the top, and in the middle it's going to move right, and it's going to move left again. And you can see um, from diagram number two that it's taken, or the, uh, how it's diverged from the previous shape. Now eventually this meandering channel will meander even further, as we can see in diagram number three. And what occurs over here is that the uh, meanders become so tight that they come very close to each other. And what can occur is that the neck can potentially be breached. And that's that narrow part, um, as you can see, that I've labelled. Um, during maybe a flood or something like that. And um, after it becomes breached, water wants to take the easiest passage and it starts to deposit silt okay, in the neck. And you can see in the last diagram what then occurs is that um, eventually this neck or this big meander will become separated and that is that feature that's called an oxbow lake. You can see in the final diagram. Now finally in this picture you can see over here I'm labeling in uh, some oxbow lakes, I'm labeling in a meander, and uh, over here in the white line you can see this is the previous shape that the river would have had. And you can see that it's broken the neck twice in this river. Thank you very much for watching and have a really good day.